Okay, um, this is me feeding my sourdough starter. It's been a few days. I think I fed it last on Saturday or Sunday, and today is Tuesday. If you look inside, it's bubbly, and it's a little looser than peanut butter, so you can see it's kind of sliding around. Um, that's how you know it's hungry. If there's ever water on the top, then that means it's exhausted all its food supply, and it's really hungry. Um, and so I try to feed it before it gets to that point. So um, I have my, my stuff marked here. Um, I'm a little over a cup right now, so I'm going to take the unfed starter and discard some of it. If I was gonna do a lot of baking, I would just feed this and keep it all, but um, since I'm gonna feed it, and if you look, lots of bubbles in there when you go to scrape it down off the sides, I'm gonna just pour some discard. So this is how you know it's hungry. It's like a looser, but you don't want it to look like that when you first feed it. You actually want it to be quite thick. All right, um, I use either this kind of spatula, which I got in a Christmas gift, or like these little ones, but just some kind of really stretchy, rubbery one. You can do it with a plastic um, spatula or spoon, but this I find is just the easiest. Um, now that I do it all the time, I think about all that stuff. Okay, so it looks like I've scraped it down. I've got a half cup left of this. And then um, my discard, I'll just stick in the fridge. I'll just let it accumulate for a little while and then dump it into a loaf of bread in place of flour and water. Um, so I'm gonna use a half a cup of starter, a half a cup of water, and a cup of flour, all-purpose flour. You don't need bread flour or anything. I have done rye starters. Some people will just keep their starter with rye. I haven't had as good a luck with it and it gets kind of crusty sometimes. So um, I still have a nice bubbly mixture in here, but now it's gonna get really soupy. Um, and so I'm just going to mix it up, get it really soupy, um, and then I have a little bit of washi tape on here so that after I feed it, I can see how quickly it doubles. Um, so I have my cup of flour, so the goal would be that it's going to be about as thick as peanut butter. And it's not a real scientific thing. Sometimes I just feed it without measuring anything, but I thought I'd measure it for you. Obviously, normally I don't feed it right at my dining room table either. All right. Now you don't want to fill it up too full. Like this is as full as I would want to get it because it's going to just about double in size. And um, I have definitely overflowed the crock before. This is just um, a container that I had that came with something else. I think with an immersion blender or something, but I liked it because it had a little bit of a rubber lid and nice straight sides, so I could tell how quickly it was moving. Um, just a minute. So now it's gonna look much more doughy. Um, like it's gonna hang on the hang on the spatula a little bit, and I always try to scrape the sides down really well so that I can see into my mixture. And I try to keep my hands clean and out of there as well so that I don't introduce any foreign stuff. I don't filter my water um, or use Berkey water or spring water, but some people do. I've never really had bad luck with that. So now I'm going to take my washi tape or some people use a rubber band um, and I'm just going to make sure that it's lined up with the top. And then I'm going to watch that and see how quickly it rises. I want it to just about double today. Um, and then if that happens, then tonight or tomorrow morning, I'll make some dough. So there you go. It's not quite, not quite frosty level, but pretty thick. All right. Thanks.